from prison to politics, our next guest proves you can overcome any obstacle. Franklin Deese is a former prison inmate spending 10 years behind bars for mistakes he made as a young adult. Now he's the mayor of Marshville, North Carolina. Welcome, Mayor Franklin Deese, the author of From Inmate to Mayor. It is so good to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. As we take a look at the cover of your beautiful book that I noticed the forward is written by Sir Richard Branson. How cool is that? Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yes, talk sir. about your, your story. Uh, you describe yourself as you were once a model student. Mm -hmm. Ben had a little bit of trouble as he got a little bit older. What uh, happened? In, in school, I was doing very well uh, in school. Had a lot of positives going, but uh, I wasn't really challenged. And so I started to look for other things, and I found those things and some negative influences. And so I sort of uh, got led to the dark side by making some wrong choices. And uh, that ended up with me being uh, incarcerated for over 10 years. I went to prison for armed robbery. Uh, with a total of 29 year sentence and did over 10 years in prison. Wow. Mm -hmm. Was there a mentor that you found who reached a hand out and helped pull you back to the, the good, good side, side of the force, <laughs> as you side. say? You know, a lot of it was, was, was self. I had to get into self and had to realize that uh, I had to take responsibility mm -hmm. for myself and for my actions. And then as I continued to change my mindset, mm -hmm. yes, there were several people who, who became influential. But the first thing I think a person has to do is deal with himself. Take responsibility for, for where you are mm -hmm, in life. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I, I tell people all the time, the choices and decisions you make yesterday determine where you are today. And once you can internalize that, then you'll realize that the choices and decisions today will tell you where you'll be tomorrow. So you can control, you can own your tomorrow. Mm -hmm. if you do that and then once your mindset changes you can ap appreciate people and mentors as they come into your life mm -hmm. before your mindset changes you don't really appreciate them when they do try to tell you that's right, right. you yeah. probably don't care you reject what they have to that's say exactly right. uh, talk about the book I mean you, you want this in sharing your story you want this to render universal you want it other is. people mm -hmm. to know you can overcome mm -hmm. those obstacles in your life that's right that's right and that's what the book is it's a book of hope that you can overcome any obstacle, that you can do anything, that it's the sex principles that apply to everyone, not just inmates, not just a certain demographic. It applies to everyone. But what makes my book different is uh, you often tell kids and different people, you can do anything, oh, you can do anything. Well, the question is how? So then I take the lessons that I learned and actually tell you how. I've incorporated a workbook into the book as well so that it has assignments for you to do as That's you good. go along. And what it does is, what I ask the reader to do is to take the lessons that I had to learn, the experiences that I share, and then write how that can affect you and your journey. My book, by the time you finish reading it, becomes your book. Mm -hmm. So that when you finish it, go back and read your book and read what you have written about yourself and your journey. You bring up a very good point, though, because I think a lot of self self-help books do just kind of say, okay, Mm -hmm. You know, you can do it, and how. I like the workbook aspect of it to get exactly. you really thinking differently. Exactly. Uh, as mayor of Marshville, what can we expect next? Uh, as the mayor? Uh, yes. Okay. Anything <laughs> big on the horizon? Yeah, well, yeah, well, you know, we're getting ready to, uh, they're in the process of building an interstate type highway that okay. will uh, connect Marshville to Charlotte, which is the largest city in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, you can leave Charlotte and actually be in Marshville in about 20 minutes. Oh, wow. And if you've ever been down 74, you know that's, that's an improvement. That's remarkable, yes. <laughs> that's we could do lunch, Mr. Yeah. Mayor. Yeah. Yes, I could be there in 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah, very good. So uh, with that coming, of course, that brings several huge opportunities, but huge challenges. So we're, we're actively working to prepare for those challenges and, and get ready for it. Let me say I would be remiss if I did not say that Marshville, is the diamond of Union County. It is a diamond in the rough. We are polishing it up, but Marshville is the diamond of Union County. You heard it here. I first. said that. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Spoken like the mayor of Marshville, right? Mayor Dees will be holding a book signing. It's Saturday, February 18th at 1.30. He'll be at the Marshville Library. To order his book, visit fromInmate2Mayor.com. From inmate to mayor.com, get a copy of his book. A pleasure to meet you. Thank you for being here My today. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.